Welcome to Sometime 6. Today we're working with Unit 2. As usual, there are lots of problems in this unit, and we're going to take them at random. Problem 18. Can you place the plus sign and the minus signs between the following numerals to make the equation true? You can only use a total of three symbols. Two pluses, one minus, two minus, one plus. And you cannot rearrange the numerals. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine equals a hundred. Now I'm not going to do this for you because you can spend hours having lots of fun trying to work it out but I'll show you what I mean. You could, for example, put 1 and 2 together, making 12, minus 3 equals 9, plus 4 equals 13, but you've already used 1 plus and 1 minus, and you've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 left. Hmm. Maybe we could say 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 1,234, minus 567, 567, equals, well, you work it out yourselves. But you can make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, equal 100, using only three signs. Two pluses and a minus, or two minuses and a plus. Have fun and work it out. Problem two. Our new gas station is very large. It has 10 rows of 10 double-sided pairs of pumps. We pulled up for gas only to find that our pump was the only non-working pump. All the rest were fine. How many working gas pumps were there at the gas station? Well, to do this, we first have to work out how many gas pumps there were altogether. There were 10 rows of 10 pumps. What does that make? 10 times 10 is 100. But each pump is double-sided. So there's a pump on one side and a pump on the other side. So we have to multiply the 100 by 2. But each pump, each side, is a pair of pumps. So each pump has two pumps on either side. So we have to multiply by two again. So it's 10 times 10 times 2 times 2. Oh, and don't forget, one of them wasn't working. Work it out for yourselves. Problem 13. A seamstress has 100 yards of cloth on a single roll and she wants to divide it into 100 lengths of one yard each. Now, it takes her three seconds to cut each length. Working non-stop, how long will it take her to cut all 100 pieces? This is a bit tricky. It's not as clear as you think. If you have a hundred yards of cloth and you want to make a hundred lengths of one yard each, how many cuts do you make? And if each cut is three seconds, you multiply that number by three to find out how many seconds it takes. Then you divide that by 60 to find out how many minutes it will take. I'll leave it up to you. It's not that difficult.